Hey everybody and welcome back to 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. Today we have one of my favorite songs from Jim Croce, I Got a Name. Okay, let's get started with that nice intro. Capo at the 4th fret, C major chord. is the boom chick strum with some very carefully chosen bass notes. So grab your C major chord, again capo at the fourth fret so we're in the right key for the song, fifth string, and then a light brush on the three treble strings. Temporarily lift off your middle finger so the fourth string is open, same brush. Now fourth string with a hammer on, I pluck it once, my middle finger hammers down to get a second note. Brush. And now the opposite. I'm going to do a pull off. Fourth string. I lift away this finger to get a second note. And as always, I'm answering back with that brush. Slow motion. Fifth string. Open fourth. Fourth string hammer on. Fourth string pull off. Let's get into the verse here. You will need an F chord for the verse. If you have any concerns about your ability to play an F chord, check out the description to this video where there will be a link to a video I made all about your options for playing an F chord, okay? So if you feel like F chord might be a challenge for you, don't worry, that video will help you out, okay? So you can see the chord changes on the screen there in front of you. See those slash marks under the chord? Uh, what's going to happen there for those slash marks is I'm going to give you two options. Each slash mark could represent a downstroke like this. Okay, so nice simple downstrokes. We're keeping it simple because for a lot of people it's the chord changes over here that are the tough part. Okay, by the way, G, middle ring and pinky. Definitely do G this way for the song. It makes life easier. Even if it takes a little bit of practice to get used to it. Middle and ring on the bass strings pinky on the treble string. Now, continuing on with the second line of the verse, okay, the chord changes start off similarly, C, G, A minor. Um, I'm going to introduce another rhythm guitar idea here. For every slash mark, do a boom chick, okay? So on the C, it's going to sound like this. Um, the words are going to be like, uh, uh, like a singing bird. Like a singing bird. Seven there at the end. Okay, so a couple different options. One down strum per slash or one boom chick per slash. If you choose the boom chick option, the boom is the only thing that's going to vary. What do I mean by that? The very first stroke you hit on whatever the chord is. Uh, on C and A minor, I recommend hitting the fifth string first. On G, sixth string sounds good. For F and D7, Fourth string. And D7 sounds like this. Okay? So there you have a couple of options of how to strum the verse. Not only the verse, but the pre-chorus and the chorus, which are coming up right now. So here at the pre-chorus, right where the lyrics say, and I carry it with me, again, you can see the chord changes, the slash marks. Uh, the slash marks, again, can mean a simple downstroke, or each slash mark can mean the boom chick. You got that idea. Uh, what I'm going to do here for the pre-chorus, I am going to do the boom chick uh, strumming, since that's the one that might need a little more visual um, display. The simple downstrokes, you get the idea with that. Okay, so here comes the pre-chorus. I'm starting my E minor chord. One, two, here I go. And I carry it with me like my daddy. There's your pre-chorus, and in the next clip, you're going to have the chorus. Here it comes. And now is a time in the video where I often say, thanks everybody, thanks for watching. And uh, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my website, Songbike. 
for tons of videos you can't find anywhere else. Okay, uh, the chorus. The chorus is also going to incorporate a nice little a nice little walk down pattern, which I'll teach you. Other than that, though, the chorus is going to be pretty straightforward. Uh, this is right on moving me down the highway. Okay, so here it comes. Two, three, four. Moving me down the highway. Moving me down the highway. Moving ahead so light won't pass me. Pass me, right? And now right on the word by. Okay, what's going on there? You can see the tab on the screen. Fifth string, first fret. Fifth string, open. Sixth string. Okay, now I've made it to the first fret of the sixth string. I'm going to keep my finger there. The next stroke, a hammer on. Okay? Only one pluck, and then the open fifth string. And the whole thing begins again. And that leads nicely into the, the C major chord for the next verse. And there you have it. That does it for our song today. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. Don't forget to check out the playlist on my YouTube channel called 365 Riffs for Beginning Guitar. There you will find hundreds, hundreds. At this point, it's just about 300 videos, a lot like this video, that will teach you tons and tons of great songs and techniques on the guitar. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please check out that playlist. I will see you tomorrow.